I locked myself in. These things can have unusual powers. Be wary. I shall be There's someone out there. Who is it? Why, all that's wholly you. I can't believe it. Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again, of all people. You've spoken with her. Then you know I poisoned Al Eamon. For all I know, he's already dead. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. You're right, I should have. But please, just tell me if she's all right. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Why wouldn't I? I was desperate, and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him?
Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Son. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. I'm just sick of running away and... We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. And I betrayed you. Please, I'm beg- Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. I'd... well, I'd try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Letting me out? And what then? I'm not... I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. I won't, I promise. Careful! I think they've seen us! It shall be done.
careful! I think they've seen us! Perhaps I could have a try at that. What do you need? Ask away. Oh, did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Well, if you're going to go and pay attention to the... Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comment, my mother was a serving girl. It was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't... I was young, and Ali Man eventually married. Anyhow, so off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlet... Probably. I remember I had an amulet. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Arl came by the monastery a few times to see how... I think so, yeah. Anyway, that's really... It cannot be done. What do you need?
So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers? Yes, this... This is just a man. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Connor! Ma... Mother? Oh, thank for me. Get away from me! Grey Warden. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I wish I could say the same! Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor... It was father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells him what to do. Quiet, uncle! I warned you, but let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? I'm not finished. I... Of course you do. I crave... We must not exhaust our supplies. Andraste, please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abom- You! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help- This is the mage you spoke of? D he was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Your secrecy made his actions possible. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took... Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and... Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret. If they discovered Connor had magic, then... They'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... None. I... And Eamon knew nothing of your plans. Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. Magic... runs in my family. The ones who had it were all terrible. And so you brought doom upon us all? No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be... I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but... He's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. I do not like the idea of hurting the boy, but... Connor is my nephew. But... He is also possessed by a demon. Death would be... merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill- No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic.
Yes, that's right. The ritual I know, it requires life energy. So, someone must... Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my... Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? Give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do? I am uneasy. Connor is blameless in this. He should not... You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who would be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. If there is... You rest your hopes on this young mage. He poisoned... You would be a fool to try. I still do not agree, but it cannot be my choice. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Indeed. It should not be difficult to get what is needed, but what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help. Go to the tower quickly. The sound this dark spot makes gives me the shivers. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the Circle. You have done us proud. The child is possessed, but kill- Unless you intend to enter the Fade, I shall gather what mages are-
We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient Lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. It only works because the child gave himself to the demon willingly. If the demon takes over the host force, we have only enough Lyrium for one attempt. I hope you succeed. Such a young lad, it, it truly depends on the manner of the... It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never... T I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. I assume you are going into the Fade. Or did you have someone else in mind? Good. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you! I'm coming! Father! Where are you? I don't understand. It's so cold. I want to go home. You there? Have you seen my son? I can... I can hear him, but I cannot... What? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? What? Possessed? Then we must... You? But I can never find... Is anyone out there? Hello? are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now! You could be a demon too. You could be a demon that just looks like a person. No! You're here to hurt father! I know it! making father sick. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Get out of here. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? And if I work on him, what would you say to him? You will not find what you seek! Turn back, now! I will not speak with you! Please forgive me, Father. 
Get out of here! You have to get out! Think again. Am I dead? Yes. Am I dreaming? I don't understand any of this. Father Wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Connor invited her to come, and they struck a bargain. She has every right to do as she wish. No, it is time for you to go now. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? You are a mage, and you know his faults better than anyone. I would trust your judgment. I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Very well. I shall have the mage imp- But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains- The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absent. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. When Eamon fell ill, I sent. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, 
I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. No one else can. Even if I wished to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on... I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owed the Isle that much. You're right. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy...
<laughs> I could get used to this, you know. I could get used to this, you know. Yes. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Speak, then. Perhaps if humans sought wisdom beyond the walls of chantries, they might find it now and then. Kunare do not worship. There is little point in pursuing this. We should move on. Questions, are you? I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I... It was when my mother died. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly. It's a beautiful sentiment. Yes? Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. In it, I stood on a peak. I fell. And the duck went up. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, Even in the midst of this dark, in my dream, there are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Black devours everything? That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come. Yes? Well, here I am. Quite in the... But it was not perfect. Some of... When I talk, they want... He cannot possibly have love for all. The sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. What can I say to them? Maybe I am wrong. But there is... Yes? Well, here I am. Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them. I, I know one. Told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chilled me to the bone. Maybe... Ah... Uh, are you sure? Was she THE Flemeth of legend? Well, if Flemeth... Ferelden mothers... They also say that Flemeth mourns her... Flemeth when cut... And then one day... A young poet named Osen came to the castle. The, but blam, dis, the, the, they say she took to her side many chasing men. Irving told me about how you became a Grey Warden and that unpleasant incident that occurred prior to your departure from the Circle. None other. I respect the decision you made and the way you handled it. But that aside, you're a Grey Warden now, and perhaps I presume too much by saying this, but the Circle is proud of you. And perhaps you would be dead now. You can agonize about... Sometimes it get You would... I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? There's that, of course, but there's more to being a Grey Warden. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others, 
about serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. As a Grey Warden, thus it is you who serves, not they. A good king, the king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. And the countries, if you live upon, but if you have the drop causes, but I you're quite taken with each other, aren't you? Well, she's hardly discreet. The way she looks at you, it's as though she's completely forgotten there's anything of you above the waist. I've noticed your blossoming relationship, and I wanted to ask... She is a cunning woman, a Maleficar. She will use you for her own ends. I am telling you what I see, and you are a Grey Warden. You have responsibilities which supersede your personal desires. Love is ultimately selfish. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? You may have to, to save one or both of you unnecessary anguish later on. I know more. I have given my advice. What do you need? Ask away. Such as they are. That's a good question. <laughs> if we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Here in the Fer beyond... So unless we try to get back to the comp... I imagine that eventually the Great Wardens... They'll send someone eventually. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden. And even if... I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more... But I don't know how to do the joining. Or what's involved. I know it involves Lyrium and some other magic and that it's really... Di unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. Just left? I don't know. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlais and other lands would hear about it, and they... About the... What do you need? Ask away. Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of... <laughs> well, uh, what? The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever... I wondered that much. The chap... I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have... He was. Come on, let's go. 